Welcome back to another episode of Man Reacts. Let's talk about why men going overseas totally intimidates Western women. First, we need to recognize why men are going overseas. What is it about Western women that repulses them so much that they choose to visit and live in foreign countries? Is it the rise of anti-male, woke feminist women who only want to live off of men's wealth and resources? Or is it just because men are so sick of Western women that they are choosing to ignore them, not date them at all, and try their luck with Eastern women and women from other nations so that they can live a normal life where gender roles are more traditional. And by traditional, I mean where society is okay with men being providers and women being homemakers and nurturers of families and mothers to their children without the need to step into society to take on men's roles. Let's find out. Men don't agree with Western values and women. Western women are not what they used to be. We all know it. A typical modern Western woman is someone who feels entitled to a man's lifelong dedication to her, to his wealth, and to his resources. She expects men to roll out the red carpet for her wherever she goes and expects them to live with her like a slave, laboring away their life for her joy, pleasure, and fulfillment. Modern Western women want equality, but don't want it across the board. They just want equality where it suits them. For example, these women want to be CEOs, government leaders, and key decision makers in large organizations, and feminist groups will advocate for their right to these positions and to receive equal pay because they believe men dominate all spheres of life. However, men don't dominate all spheres of life. There are many fields and professions which are overwhelmingly majority females, such as nurses and primary school teachers. Western women take men for granted. Since most Western women are incredibly entitled, they take men for granted and expect men to live their lives, sacrificing everything for the sake of women and not receive anything in return. While men bring everything to the table, women only expect men to do their part and more, without bringing anything to the table themselves. Apart from physical intimacy, there's not much that Western women can do. They don't want to have children in their prime. They'd rather waste their peak and most fertile years partying and sleeping around with other men. They'd rather spend that time chasing corporate careers and climbing corporate ladders. But when they realize they're nearing their biological clock, they suddenly want the same men they used to reject in their 20s and expect them to be available for marriage. That's when they realize those same men who focused on their lives with a purpose are already married and happily living with their families. So that's two major reasons why men venture to the East to find women who have more substance. Women in other countries are happy being feminine. Compared to women in the West who are increasingly adopting masculine traits and values, women in the East are traditionally more feminine. That means they're very happy being women and accept that being a woman means being a partner in a relationship with a man who will provide for her while she raises their children and makes a comfortable home for the family to live their lives. For Western men, this is something that they can no longer get in their countries, such as in the United States, Canada, Great Britain, Australia, and some parts of Europe. Men are not discouraged from being masculine in other countries. This is important for men. Men thrive when they are aligned with their inner masculinity. They thrive when they are building stuff. They thrive when they are living a life of purpose and meaning. They thrive when they are being leaders and providers of financial, physical, and emotional security to women and children. Unfortunately, this is something they can no longer achieve in Western societies because Western societies don't allow men to be masculine anymore. Western societies label masculinity as something that is toxic and something that basically overshadows women and represses women in societies, which is just not the case. Men find more traditional women abroad. Men are fleeing countries to find the right women abroad. This isn't surprising because the women in their countries are constantly complaining about how they're just not good enough no matter what they do. So much so that the men feel they'd be better off taking a dive into the dating pool of other countries. Their high and far-reaching standards and plain prejudice against men are driving many to move to other countries. It really makes you wonder if this is a genuine shift in the female ideology, or if this is something that women have always wanted to achieve but couldn't in the past. I think it's a mixture of both, however. I really do think that this is something that women, deep down, have always wanted. I mean, if your gender has always been considered inferior throughout previous centuries, it's only natural to want to change that and try to become dominant and taste power. Western women have revealed their true nature. I think it's true women treat the men they think are inferior like garbage and are subservient to the ones they think are high value until they become equals, and then they treat them poorly to get an ego massage. This is what I believe is the true and raw nature of women. It just explains why in most Western societies today, modern women negate traditional gender roles where men are leaders and women follow their lead. For them, being aligned with their feminine side is akin to oppression, and they celebrate when other women go against their nature and instead adopt masculine attributes to dominate men. Are they following the ways of modern women, or are they doing what they wanted to do and become all along this time? They're intimidated by men going to other countries. It all 
all boils down to this. The ideology of the modern woman ideally works for them from the time when they're in their teens to the mid-twenties at the most, especially in terms of financial success. If they're ambitious and want a career without wanting to settle down with a man or have a family, then this ideology works for them perfectly. But if they want to start a family, then this ideology goes against the way they want to spend the rest of their lives, and that's where the problems start. They realize they can't have everything, and that's when they start blaming men for everything that goes wrong with their lives. So, when things aren't going exactly the way women want them to go, in terms of career, relationships, and life overall, they want the equation to magically solve itself. Women aren't programmed to see themselves live through old age alone. This is why they want to have someone by their side as a financial cushion so they can live their lives in peace and not have to live in a nursery home. Ironically, most modern women say they don't need a man and yet depend on them for so much throughout their adult lives. Men come in the form of boyfriends, lovers, and sugar daddies. This is the reality today, plain and simple. Men are just tired of the modern woman who makes it next to impossible for them to go out on a nice date. Their unbelievable standards are making men look the other way and in other directions. Simply put, men are choosing to go their own way and are choosing to seek more traditional women in other countries because Western society doesn't allow men to be masculine anymore. Western women are intimidated by this because they know if men find more traditional women in the East, then there won't be any high-value men left in the West for these women to date and marry. Unless these women realize what is happening, they will soon be left without any men who would want to be with them. What are your thoughts on this? Please share in the comments. And as always, thank you for watching Man Reacts. Like and subscribe.